there are so many uh, interactions. You, you need to be able to work together um, with the uh, introduction of virtualization. You know, you're putting different applications on different in infrastructure. It needs to work together. So it's really important that you know we collaborate upfront, understand what those interfaces are going to be, what functionality they they uh, the ISVs need. So having a community is is really important. Well, I think none of the telcos can drive this transformation alone. And uh, what we're seeing within uh, the Linux Foundation Networking Fund, what we're seeing within the Telcom Infra project are great examples that telcos can actually collaborate and then can actually move a mountain. It is very important for me or for us because you know the technology is not mature. So at least we need to share together what we are doing, what is working, what is not working in order not to, to invent, uh, how we say, we say in France, the, the hot water. It's important to bring the industrial ecosystem to share the experience in order to copy the problems quickly, uh, promptly. Well, I think as part of transformation, the traditional old worlds of brittle vertical stacks of multiple vendors being siloed and proprietary, as we move to the cloud, it's vitally important that there's true openness um, and not just openness for the sake of statement, but the reality of being able to bring various valuable partnerships together to realize the promise of virtualization and digital transformation for our customers. It's really important uh, when you have different products coming in, especially when they are software, it's really important for all these to work together very closely. So from a product integration perspective, there are a lot of close integration related um, activities we work um, as part of the partnership. There's also the other aspect where from a go-to-market perspective, we jointly have to approach the customers together, right? Uh, you know, if there is an issue in terms of supportability, it's something where we can collaborate together to figure out, okay, which part of the software it is. Well, I think if you look at the way digital society is evolving, it's based on many players that are innovating based on open source technology. So all over the top uh, players like Google, Yahoo, Facebook, Uber, all these internet native companies are basing their innovations on open source development. Open source means that many people contribute, right? And that the code doesn't belong to any of them, but it is shared by all, right? And I think this same source, secret source of innovation is for the telcos to leverage, right? And move out of proprietary systems that is all black boxes supplied by a single vendor towards a more of an open ecosystem where we together develop innovation that can make the open and digital society move faster. This might be the most difficult, largest transformation that service providers will ever go through, um, at least in my lifetime. Uh, they've been through a number of them, um, but they're literally redefining themselves now. Um, they are softwareizing their networks uh, and uh, anticipating new business models um, running on softwareized networks, but they don't actually know what those new business models are going to be yet. They just know they're going to be there. So there's a huge investment in um, belief of what will come, uh, and a lot of uh, a, a lot of educated guesswork going on, and a lot of huge uh, real dollar investment going on. So it's that inflection point. Sometime in the next 18 months, the killer app that's going to run on 5G and bring all of this to life is going to materialize and everybody wants to be ready for it.